Hello, welcome to Ikello Photo. We're gonna take a look at a little bit more AI. I know I was going to release a video. I'm gonna do that next week on how you can use your pictures in mid journey, but that's for next week. Today, we're going to mess with a picture. I did a photo shoot with Bunny and I have a whole video that I, behind the scenes that I did of that. But that being said, let's take a look at some of the new tools in Photoshop. Now, as you can see, this is a picture of Bunny and I'm going to go up in the corner here and over to filters and down to neural filter. This is where it really gets crazy because it uses artificial intelligence to identify exactly all the features on her face and it can change her features. Check it out. Okay. I am in smart portrait right there. And I, let's say bunny has requested that I give her her less jowly sort of thing. So she wanted things pulled up and blah, blah, blah. We are going to maybe strip a little bit of the age off of her just a little bit and see if it will do anything. I don't know if this new tool can do that. Now, remember, it's only taking off a little bit of her age, just a little bit, gave her a little, <laughs> gave her a little color in her hair and everything. Is there a way I can toggle this on and off? There does not seem to be auto balance combinations. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a way to toggle it on and off. Oh, there it is. On, <laughs> off, on, off. That's absolutely amazing. All right, let's her, let's take let's increase her hair thickness and let's turn her eyes to the right and let's make her look a little more happy. There we go. Let's see what happens when the neural engine takes this into account. It actually changed her expression. Did you see that? It actually changed her expression actually did it right in front of you. Oh, by the way, Merry Christmas. Anyway, this is a game changer for portrait photographers. I've got a corporate gig right now that I'm working on and I'm working on all those pictures. And one of the ladies asked me to take a little bit of age off of her, just a hair. She didn't want all those lines. And so I'm just gonna bump her back a year or two so that those lines go away. It's gonna be nice. I don't even have to go in there and draw on it or do any of that stuff. It's pretty daggone amazing. All right, let's see. What other things can we do? She, we can change her expression. So let's neutralize that and we'll keep her age the same. We'll maybe take her hair thickness back down and her eye direction back forward. But that's just crazy. You, she's looking one way and then she's looking another way. Can I get her to go look all the way over here? Like she's not even looking at anybody. Let's see, can I get it to do it? Now remember, I'm working with a M1 Mac, the first generation iMac mini, the little Mac mini. So take that into account when, it, that when you're watching how long it takes for these things to process. And it's still doing a pretty good job. And it's going into the cloud. Okay, let's see here. She's looking all the way over there, not at the camera at all. <laughs> and we'll put her back here and make it so that she's looking at the camera again. We'll open up the expressions and we will, how about we make her look surprised while all of that's happening. <laughs> now this is with standard Photoshop and you can do this if you have the subscription. I think it's a $10 subscription that gets you Lightroom and Photoshop. And I know there are a lot of people out there who just do not like Photoshop. 
because of the monthly subscription, but I've learned how to use it since I was a young boy and I just can't let her go, man. I just can't let her go. Let's see, let's go back. Okay, and she looks surprised. And we'll turn it off and turn it on. And if we do anger and surprise, Let's see, I will, I keep it turned off, I'm gonna turn it off. Woo! She, that, that's a lot going on right there. Let's turn off the surprise and let it reprocess and see what we get. She, <laughs> her anger is pretty angry. It's very fascinating. Very fascinating. It even darkened her hair to get to take some of the age off. I personally think she doesn't need to be that young and that angry. <laughs> and let's see what else do we have. We have head direction. You can actually move her head. You can actually move her head. So let's get make sure everything's back to normal except for her age, which is just a wee bit younger. I like the, what they, I like what it did with her hair too. Her hair was uh, looking good that day, but that's a little bit of a tighter squeeze. And if I showed her that picture, I think she would be happy. Absolutely happy. Absolutely happy, actually. And let's see, surprise, anger, global settings. Head direction. Let's change her head direction. Let's see how crazy that looks. Now remember, this is going into the cloud and using artificial intelligence algorithms, uh, models to actually change the way that the person is looking. <laughs> and it did it, but it's a pretty drastic 3D model of what, and what is interesting about that, and I know I, have not, I haven't showed it to you yet, but what's interesting about what I'm seeing right now is that it actually just took her head and popped it completely out of the frame and tried to account for the part that it moved. But as you can see, it didn't do too good of a job. <laughs> anyway, let's see, what else? Fix head alignment, I could fix head alignment. Light direction. I could change the direction of the light. Let's see what happens when I do that. It's a pretty good turn. Oh, I changed the direction of the light. That just looks unnatural, but it's still pretty good. And did I do it that way too? Wow. Okay, come on. Yep, the light direction. Oh my gosh, that's just crazy. I can't even, and let's see, a fixed head alignment. Let's crank it to the left and see what happens. Oh, and that's where she was. This is where she is. That's where she was. So this is the real, this is the real bunny. And this is an artificially generated 3D model kind of bunny right there. Just having her head over that side, it just looks completely crazy, but that is what technology will get you. As a matter of fact, let's do this and do that so that we can make sure that her head is in the right spot. And cause that's just wrong. <laughs> and there, that's pretty doggone good. That's crazy, right? And it just does a little bit, just a little bit. And let's see, what's the last setting here? Let's pull that in, pull that in. Retain unique details. Mask feathering. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, wow. And ladies and gentlemen, that's that for that. A little peek behind the curtain of Photoshop's neural engine. And it's amazing. It's pretty daggone good. And that's part of my pulling you into AI. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are heading into the future. 
I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful look at artificial intelligence and how it can affect your photography. My name's Ikello Herod. This has been Ikello Photo. Subscribe, hit all those notification bells and everything so that you don't miss anything that I've been doing and love the camera that you are with. <laughs>